All right, what's going down, guys? It's Jeff, otherwise known as Evans on this hey, channel, and I'm here today with um, kind of a update commentary because about a month and a half ago, close to two months ago, I made a commentary about how I hate being a solo player and how I hate being a free agent. So I figured I'd make a follow-up commentary to help people out. Um, I'm not like I'm not even that far in the community right now, but TGN. I think, in my opinion, is a is a very good team compared to what where I was at two months ago, and so I figured I would just give some tips to help you players out there because there are just some players who really need a few pointers, and I'm pretty sure this will help you guys out in the long run. So, yeah, so let's get this started. So, to be a good player, it really doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter about how many clips that you can hit. I mean, that can be explained further in the video but it's the quality mainly and that can go both ways as in like clip quality and um just quality of your videos like the video quality um so if you're hitting like really good clips like um i can't really think of any examples but if you if you're hitting good clips and you're not like maybe like every three days like a, a, de a like really decent clip or a really good clip every three days i would consider that to be somewhat consistent with good quality clips so i don't know it's it's not about how many clips that you can hit compared to how good the clips are in comparison and then along with the render settings and stuff like that, video quality, um, it's always good to strive for your best, uh, your best video quality. Um, you definitely want to have good quality videos when you're sending clips to um, editors, leaders, stuff like that. So when your editors are editing your stuff, when the, your editors are editing your episode or whatever they're editing, it's going to be a hassle if your video quality is absolute shit. And so... It's always good to have HD, obviously HD, I'm pretty sure that's a decent standard now is to have an HD PVR or an Elgato or something like that. So if you don't have one of those, I'd recommend getting one or at least have friends record for you that have HD PVRs or Elgatos and make sure that you have the highest video quality settings. Um, if you guys really want, I can unlist a render settings video and put it in the description of this video if you guys really want to. Cause there are just some people who need to learn how to render their stuff and how to get the best quality out of their stuff. So, yeah. Moving on. Um, learning to edit would be uh, a really good skill to have when you're trying to be a valuable player to a team. Uh, I've been an editor for a good year now, and I'm, I'm, it's safe to say that if I do, like if I don't have an editor, then I can always edit my own stuff, like no matter what it is. Um... So that's always a plus, no matter what style, even if it's simple editing. I mean, look at phase rain, phase twist, editing like that, you know. that's It's easy to, to learn. It's easy to pick up if you really tried. So if you guys really want, also I can make a tutorial on how to maybe edit like rain, twist, that type of style if you guys really want to. Or I can go in-depth editing like I do. I mean, I'm not an insane editor, but I am... Um, I would say up to standards, so yeah, I could always do that for you guys. Okay, so the next thing to being a valuable player would be um, being a nice person in general uh, to people on Skype, on YouTube, stuff like that. If you're trolling people, you're going to get dislikes on your videos, and you're going to bring that hate towards the team, and nobody wants that, so just don't, just don't be an ass. Like... It's not that hard. Um, there are sometimes I'm an asshole to people, but that's only when they piss me off, and it's not my fault, and it's 100% not my fault, and I know it isn't. So I don't know if if you're gonna just like know the consequences of things, because there are some things that can really bite you in the ass in the long run. So I tend to be really nice to people, and it usually pays off in the end with feedback and stuff, because. If you're a nice guy, if you help each other out, like, because if somebody asks me to like a video, and I think they're of, of quality, if they're up to standards, and they actually deserve some feedback, I'm going to give them some feedback. Not to say that no, like, some people don't deserve feedback, because all the people deserve feedback, but good feedback anyways, like a like. But, yeah. 
if if you're not that good and you're gonna ask me for a like and comment, I probably will only comment. I really won't drop a like if it's if I don't like the content. So yeah, that just tends to happen for me. Um, also, asking for help is always a plus. Like I was just about to hit 700 subs. This is just an example, but I was just about to hit 700 subs like earlier yesterday, and I asked Chills for a uh, for a shout out on TGN. Gave me it. I went up a good 25 subs, thanks to Chills, and that's awesome. So yeah, Chills' channel will be in the description. Just I don't know how many subs this will get him. Probably won't get him any, but just a shout out there. Um, activity is another thing, and I'm gonna end it on here on this note. Activity is definitely the best thing to maintain a good playing channel and a valuable player. Um, if you're active on your channel, whether it's once a week, whether it's twice a week, as long as you have a schedule in mind, like or at least a like some sort of idea in your head on how active you're gonna be, it'll help you on the long run. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat chopped up gameplay of a free for all game that I played. I'm not the best sniper, but I figured I would cut the slow moments in the game so it would help you guys out a little bit. So if this helped you out, please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. This has been Jeff and I'm uh, I'm signing out. Peace.